Hi, Hiram here. I got a comment on my channel, uh, Ilgarscom. I'll put his name down here. Said, Hiram, can you please consider testing the canteen shop stove stand upside down with the mini train G and the Boy Scout pot? It appears the fastest boil you did was using the bolts and nuts to lift the pot up. What he's talking about is some time ago on my other channel, well, I had gotten this uh, kit from Canteen Shop. It's a nice little, not exactly a Graham Weenie type of thing, but a nice kit for like a day trip or whatever. Canteen Cup. Canteen Shop made this stove stand, wood burning. I mean, this thing, practically indestructible. Uh, you use it for wood. I used it in a bunch of tests using anything from sterno, alcohol, the whole bit. But I used it this way. And what he's talking about with the bolts is I use stainless steel bolts in these holes to raise the canteen cup up a little bit give it a little more air and I got some pretty good times like that but now what he's asking is for me to use the Trangia burner in this using the stove upside down this is right side up this would be upside down so what I'll be doing is putting the Trangia in like that now the canteen cup won't work on this the way it stands because it won't hold the canteen cup up. You might be able to do it like that. That might be an idea. The other thing is you'd have to run clips across here to hold it up. So he's asking me to do it with the Boy Scout pot. What I'll do now is measure this stuff, get my water ready. It's a little hard for me to keep it at 60 degrees in this heat, so I'm going to have to cut here and come back with it at 60. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my water almost up to temperature. Let me light this and get the bloom on it. Now I took a measurement on this. From the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot is just about one inch. So that should be good as far as the uh, sweet spot. Now this uh, stove, I'm sorry, I'm thinking of other things. This stove is pretty handy if you don't mind the weight. I mean, I... I've hammered in uh, tent stakes with this. I've dug cat holes with this. I've stood on this because I couldn't quite reach something. And for this to hold me up, that's pretty good. Okay, I think we got a bloom there. Yep. We have a bloom. So I've got two cups of water starting at 59 degrees. And let's see where this goes. Okay, we're about three minutes into the burn. You can see it's a fairly nice flame. It's mostly blue, so that should mean that it's getting lots of air. One problem I'm having here is there's condensation on the pot. It's rather humid here right now. And every once in a while that drips into the flames. But it looks pretty good, so let's see where it goes. Okay, there we have 210 to 11. to 12 and 1125 hmm. and okay, let me get this off let me stop this I want to get a measurement on how much alcohol was consumed in that I'll put the amount down here I don't know that wasn't so hot <laughs> sorry about that that wasn't so good uh, I had to move the pot out a little bit. It looked like the flames were really coming out of the side here. I don't know if it was getting air from the back and making all the flames come out through this hole and then up the side of the pot. So I moved the pot out as much as I could without it tipping over so that it hit more of the bottom of the pot. So that was two cups of water starting at 59 degrees. Came to a full boil in 11 minutes 25 seconds. 
on the now this is hot I was measuring it it was like 140 some degrees on the outside of this so it means it's acting like a big heat sink again on the test where I used bolts stainless steel bolts like this to elevate the canteen cup up to give me some more space there uh, I got two cups of water from 59 degrees to a full boil in 5 minutes and 59 seconds so from this one test anyway it looks like it works better like this maybe elevated a little bit with the bolts than it does with putting this upside down and putting the Trangia inside there like that so it's up to you I forget I'll put links down below to the other tests that I did with this setup talking a little funny this morning sorry um, <clears throat> so you can look at them if you haven't already I hope this helps Ilsgarcom I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name up but I hope this helps you shows you what's going with it and I thank you all for watching I look forward to your input, questions like this, suggestions, the whole bit, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.